Hi, I'm Robert Sturden with your God Journal's Nugget. This month we've been highlighting the life and the ministry of the British evangelist named Smith Wigglesworth. Something that's interesting in my life, I'm kind of known as a revival historian, so every place I go around the world they want me to talk about certain people, and there's always two people they want me to talk about. One is Wigglesworth, and the second one is Catherine Kuhlman. I call them the charismatic popes of our movement because even in the backside of Africa and China when I go there, they want to hear about these two people. These two people have something in common that I want to highlight. They did not have big organizations like we build today. Smith Wigglesworth ran his ministry out of his home with his daughter and his son-in-law. Sometimes we think we've got to have big buildings, big budgets, big everything. What you need is obey God big and keep all your expenses small. And so one of the things I want to share today is how Wigglesworth ran his office. His books that he was written about him, there's only three books that were written during his life. He did not write them. His biography is written by one of the famous uh, writers of the Pentecostal movement in that time, Stanley Frotsam. And then there were two books, Ever Increasing Faith and Preventing Faith, versus his other teaching books. And he didn't even take the royalties for those. What he did with those, he gave all the money that was made from those books to the missions in Africa. And so he kept his life small, he kept his overhead small, but his faith big, his meetings big, and his miracles big. So maybe in our time we might want to follow his example of how to run an operation instead of getting big overheads and we live under the financial weight of trying to feed that monster instead of feeding our faith to get the miracles for our people. Hope that helps you. Talk to you soon. God bless.